Breaking news here on Minnesota Vikings now by Chat Sports. Jeff Gladney, his time with Minnesota is over. The Vikings have released the 2020 first round pick after he was indicted on assault charges in Dallas. Now the move comes Tuesday afternoon, just hours after the news broke that Gladney ha had been indicted on a domestic violence charge in Dallas. Some background here on what happened. So obviously the indictment comes down today. The incident actually happened back in April, and this is all of course still allegedly, but he allegedly assaulted a woman for more than two hours, beating her at various points over that time frame back on April 2nd. He was then arrested on April 5th. Now the indictment comes down. Adding to some more potential problems for Jeff Gladney as it relates to this specific uh, incident, he then tried to bribe the victim with a $1,000 necklace and a gift card to a spa as well. The news comes that, the, that he's been indicted, and the Vikings waste very little time choosing to release their former first-round pick. That is significant, given how much talent Jeff Gladney has, and now the question is if he's ever going to play again in the NFL. This incident might end up ending the career of Jeff Gladney. Of course, we'll go more in-depth here on how this impacts the Vikings, but the immediate focus for now is more on his future and, of course, the legal issues he is now facing. And, of course, we'll let the criminal process play out. The Vikings, however, well, they're not bound by that. They chose to dump Gladly and move on quickly. Here was their statement earlier today on their decision to dump Gladly. Quote, following our review of today's indictment against Jeff Gladney, we have decided to release Jeff immediately. As we have previously said, we take these matters very, serious, very seriously excuse me, and condemn all forms of domestic violence. To the ongoing legal nature of this matter, we are unable to provide further comment. Look, it, it takes a lot for an NFL team in barely a year to move on from a first-round pick. A guy that was supposed to be a critical part of their defense now and for the next potential decade as well. But clearly, there's a lot of problems here with the Jeff Gladney incident. There is a lot going on as it relates to Gladney, his legal issues. And the Vikings clearly think they don't want to deal with it anymore. So the decision to dump Gladney does carry massive ramifications for, of course, Gladney himself, but also for the Vikings in the short and long term. In reality, they've missed on their first round pick due to off the field problems, and that will impact them. On if there is a bright side, which I almost feel bad saying in the context here, the Vikings have other options at the cornerback position. They went out and they added Patrick Peterson, the big-time veteran player who is going to probably be their number one corner immediately opposite what we think will end up being Brashad Blue. So two new additions this offseason for Minnesota are now primed to start. We could also, if we want to, count Mackenzie Alexander as a new addition, but he's kind of an old new addition. He spent most of his career with the Vikings, signed a one-year deal with the Bengals, and is now back in Minnesota to handle the nickel corner role. Cameron Dantzler is another young player entering his second year, also worth monitoring as a potential outside piece. He's now kind of more or less the hope as it relates to Minnesota as for their young corners. Maybe Harrison Hand, Chris Boyd make an impact, but Dantzler is now the focal point here. As for Gladney himself, if he ends up being convicted, it's very difficult for me to see him returning to the NFL. The, the severity of this incident is a Big deal and a big problem for Gladney. And of course, it's not okay to ever do. We somehow feel the need to continuously remind people of that because it keeps happening in the world today. Gladney on the field, the numbers look okay. Seven tackles for loss, three pass breakups. The problem is he got picked on a lot. 730 yards he allowed through the air. Six touchdowns and allowed a completion percentage of over 70.5%. Didn't play that well, but it wasn't the on-the-field stuff that got... Jeff Gladney cut, it's the off-the-field problems that are just absolutely terrible if they end up being, of course, true. If it is true, I don't see how Jeff Gladney plays again in the NFL. I, I don't see how an NFL team can go, yes, we're going to bring in Jeff Gladney after what he did. But what do you guys think? Will Gladney get a second chance? Get your votes in for me. Y for yes, he will, or N for no, he won't.